welcome to NASA News Live. I'm Amanda Schweitzer. Tonight we'll be looking at the H1N1 virus. The virus, commonly known as swine flu, has been spreading at an alarming rate across the country. According to the CDC, there have been officially 44,555 cases reported in the United States. Of those, there have been 1,615 deaths. As the swine flu problem grows rapidly, each week the number of deaths from the disease continues to grow. The CDC recently puts out a public service announcement advising citizens about the symptoms so that they can be more cautious about becoming infected. Swine flu is a respiratory disease of pigs caused by type A influenza viruses. Outbreaks of swine flu happen regularly in pigs. People do not normally get swine flu, but human infections can and do occur. Most commonly, human cases of swine flu happen in people who are around pigs but it's possible for swine flu viruses to spread from person to person also. The symptoms of swine flu in people are similar to the symptoms of regular human flu and include fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, headache, chills, and fatigue. In Nassau County, residents are taking precautions of their own. At this moment, I mean, Nassau and Suffolk County so far is not I'm still confident that we can, you know, they can contain this without being widely spread. So uh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm okay. Um, you know, my kids both took the flu shot, so I, I'm pretty, I can sleep at night, basically. I'm glad that our school is providing flu shots at the wellness center, and there's hand sanitizing stations everywhere. You can just put your hand under it's good that our school takes precautions because we want to have all healthy students no sickness. Because of close living conditions, Hofstra University has started a campaign to alert students to the H1N1 problem. As for the university's success with their vaccination efforts, we sat down with Maureen Hawk of Hofstra's Wellness Center and Melissa Jose, a Hofstra University senior. Well, the students think that they have an H1N1 virus or an influenza-like illness. They can go directly online to the hospital website, go into the area about H1N1. They can actually take the test, um, and it's just a question and answer as to their symptoms, when they started, if they have any chronic illnesses, and it'll give them a fairly good idea of what's I guess I've heard about slime flu from, like, the news. Um, I only know one person who's actually gotten it. It was somebody in one of my classes. And she said she has a regular flu and swine. So from everyone that she knows who's gotten it, she said that people are making way too big of a deal about it, and it's really not that serious. Due to the outbreak in Nassau County, local religious communities have had to rethink the way they do things. Hofstra University's Catholic and Muslim communities recently sat down with us to discuss the precautions they've had to take to combat the infection. So here, we're not giving out the blood. Um, some other parishes are not giving out the blood and some parishes are doing everything the same and they say if you're worried about getting swine flu don't drink from the chalice or don't shake anyone's hand. Uh, they're trying to set up uh, areas where people who might potentially be sick, you know, just like a small corner roped off area so people are praying side by side. Um, they're strongly encouraging people who might be sick to be considerate of their fellow believers and stay at home or pray by themselves at home. And uh, in general, they're just trying to increase awareness uh, and encourage people to take personal responsibility on this issue. A few local residents have actually come down with the swine flu. They took the time to talk to us about what it was like to contract the virus and how they got better. When I finally realized I had the swine flu, um, I had to actually t rest a lot. You know, it took a lot out of me. I just started to be really tired, started coughing a lot, and uh, kind of like a cold, but a lot worse. It was a... Uh, I like, couldn't move, I was like sluggish, I was always tired a lot, didn't leave my bed for like a week, and it wasn't fun. Um, I was just, I was drinking a lot, and I was taking Motrin to lower my fevers, and it took about a week to recover. I wash this to people who are sick, and I wash my hands a lot more, try not to spread it to other people. As the H1N1 virus continues to spread, citizens in Nassau County and all over the United States are struggling to stay healthy. The predictions for H1N1 spread don't look good either. The World Health Organization estimated in July that 2 billion people will become infected with the virus before the pandemic is over. That's all for tonight. I'm Amanda Schweitzer. This has been the Nassau News Live. Stay healthy and good night.